What? I got another kit. Oh my god. The luck is real, bro. <laughs> Yo, the luck is real. Oh shit. I just need to get the dust. <laughs> I just need to get the dust and I'm done. Pretty much. Hey, I can uh, upgrade the rapier. <laughs> I can turn it into, into the gilded rapier, but it's like literally the same thing. Literally all they did was added gold. They literally added gold to the handle. Oh man. Nice, Moon Ores. Definitely one of the best drops from Horrible Nightmare. And yeah, you get a good amount too, like 10 to 20 at a time. So we have reached 200 KC and there is no tablet. That means I am about 2x dry for the tablet. It's around 1 in 100. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck? No, this is not the right drop, but um... <laughs> Internet safety and privacy are evolving fast, and it's important for everyone to keep their security and privacy up to date. NordVPN is designed to grant users a modern level of online privacy and safety by masking your IP address and letting you access the internet from various locations in the world. NordVPN is one of the best VPNs in the market because they have fast connection speeds, and as many as 60 locations around the world for you to access the internet from. It's as simple as a few clicks to use Nord. Tired of not seeing content on Netflix because you're region locked or you just want to keep your internet use private from hackers, DDoSers, or governments? Then get NordVPN. Right now, Nord is giving out a massive discount using my link where you can save 72% off for two years of NordVPN and an extra four months for free. Give it a try as there is a 30 day money back guaranteed, so you have nothing to lose. Remember to use my affiliate link, nordvpn.com slash ricecub, in the description for this amazing offer. Thanks for listening guys, back to the video. Nice, new personal bet, 732. Damn boys, we've reached 250kc. We're getting close to 300. Anyways, it's about 6 kills an hour for me I think, so... How much is that in hours already? That's like, what, 40 to 50 hours spent killing this boss already? Damn, holy PB, 725. What is that, 7 seconds faster than my previous? Ooh, baby, trying to get that sub-7 one day. Holy shit, I actually reached 300 KC at Harmo Nightmare without the freaking tablet. <laughs> damn, 3x stride for that bad boy. Oh, damn. I really hope I get it before 400 then. Let's keep going. Oh my god, I got it! Yes! Let's freaking go, dude! 310kc! Oh my god. Ah, we're done, dude! Oh my god, we're freaking done. Oh, yes! Finally, I can just get to Nightmare fast instead of having to spend two minutes running there every single time and having to use a stamina dose oh my god this is gonna be so nice i can just do chill one kill trips bank and just bring like you know much less supplies and actually bring better gear for more dps without losing any supplies oh man so nice all right let's check out the teleport see where it goes oh shit it's really close wow right at like the entrance of like the sanctuary thing and instead of you know at TOV Bank. Oh, so freaking good. That's only like what? Like a 20 second run instead of a 2 minute run? So now that I have the tablet, I don't need my SGS because I don't need its healing factor to do 2 kill trips. So instead, I'll be bringing back my Elder Maul because the Elder Maul is just nicer for clearing parasites. I don't have to put on extra gear to one shot them. So it's really, really good. And I'm going to be bringing a Volatile Staff just for fun. I don't even know if it's good, but... I just know that it can hit hard as hell, and I just want to use it. And I don't have to worry about, you know, healing back up with SGS, so I can bring another fun spec weapon. And also, the other thing that I'm going to make sure I have for forever now is that's charged. So I can bring in those extra runes for it, because I have the food to do one kill trips no problem. So that's charged is going to be really nice, because that means I can use my special attacks even more, so I can kill the boss even faster. Amazing. Also, one of the biggest things for this tablet is that I can definitely camp the Trident way more than I could without jeopardizing my ability to kill the boss efficiently. 
since I can bring more food just for one kill. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna save a lot of blood runes without having to try anymore. So nice. Let me just update you guys on runecrafting. So I'm over 26 mil runecrafting experience. Most of my experience is actually at blood runes. So I've theoretically made almost a million blood runes at this point. Yeah, just using it for theater and nightmare mostly. And I still don't have the runecrafting pet. So what XP do you guys think I'll get the runecrafting pet? So the hut spawn mechanic works in a very specific way in Horrible Nightmare, different from normal. It's going to always be in the order of the major will attack you first, the skinny one, and then the ranger, the wide one, will attack you last. So make sure to kill the ranger first, so that way it never hits you, and then you can block the major with prey mage, and you take no damage, almost all the time. So the D mace and maces in general got buffed, so they're now a faster attack speed, so now they're whip speed. And it's really good at Nightmare actually, so I went ahead and went testing with it, and yeah, it bops. I was able to max a 67 at Nightmare, and you can do 4 specs at once, so it's awesome. So if you need something cheap to use for Nightmare, definitely bring the D-Mace. Oh shit, I thought the boss was phased. Oh damn, Ghost did it though for me. Sweet, yo, I love these thralls, man. They're so good at Nightmare, you have to have it. Because I've been doing both Harmo Tob and Harmo Nightmare at the same time, the amount of blood runes I've been using basically doubled. And there's no way in hell that my AF King at Blood Altar is enough to cover. And I really just don't feel like buying blood runes. It's so annoying. So, a nice way to kind of eliminate a lot of the blood rune use at this point is for me to bring a Trident to Nightmare alongside my Sang Staff. Because the Trident is only slightly worse at the pillars. And. I can use the trident for when I don't need a heal, which is a lot of the times. You know, I've gotten good enough to the point where I don't need the Sang Staff to rely for healing as much. So yeah, when I'm good HP, I just put on the trident and I use that to save a lot of bones. Yo, I am so glad they made items that are dropped by Nightmare to stay until you leave the instance. Because before it would despawn in two minutes, but if I'm doing two kill trips and I get something good, early on like potions like sandfuse i can't pick them up and they despawn so yeah at least i can actually save these sandfuse uh and bring it back to my bank now oh no i only have ten thousand charges left on my enhanced trident oh gosh i gotta recharge it soon psych <laughs> the only downside is when i do need to charge it i'm gonna forget to so i've noticed that the pillars definitely have a lot less hp than the normal version of nightmare and the crossbow is really far range and faster than the trident so i was thinking wow if the pillar is almost dead i shouldn't even use my trident on it i should just use the crossbow because i will basically finish off the pillar anyways and i'll save myself a tick so i've been testing it and it's actually really reliable it's a bit sweaty but if you can do it it's so nice so the volatile staff is really powerful special attack it can hit like I think like 70s or something, so on the pillow it would be like 140 plus, potentially. Now, that doesn't mean that it's good at Nightmare, because it's more of like a PK weapon in a way. But yeah, I was testing it, and man, sometimes it goes off. Sometimes I would be almost one-shotting an entire pillow with just a spec. And other times I'll hit like a 5 or something, or 6. It's a bit random at times, but I guess the average spec uh, on the pillow would be like, um, probably like a 70 or something, right? It's a bit tricky to use though because you have to put it on and you have to make sure you click on the spec bar first before you click on the pillar because if you don't, your character just ends up running towards it melee distance and that's terrible. You can get like dark hold or flowered or something. So yeah, it's really tricky. It does have potential though, so try it at your own risk. But I think I'm going to stick to claw spamming just because there's so much I'm already multitasking clicking on. So. so the Blade of Saldor got a little nice update. So now you can actually buy these little add-ons to your blade to change the color so you basically get like the whole power rangers variety set and i prefer black so yeah i'm just gonna dye my blade black damn this blade is so dark that if i go to my house which is a black theme house a lot of the times i can't even see what i'm wearing so even slayer helmets got a cosmetic change uh this week 
So the Slayer helmets got recently tweaked cosmetically, so the different types now all look a bit different from each other. Before it was like the same shapes, just different colors, but now it's like different shape and colors. And here's the one I have, the Kelphite Queen version. It looks pretty nice. Reminds me of like these like superhero kids show uh, like Power Rangers, except it was a uh, Japanese specific called like Common Riders, so Mass Riders. Oh, nice. Good money. Nice. Shout out. <laughs> Yo, every time you get a rape here, shout out all of them. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. We got another one. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, what the frick? How do you, how do you get two drops in one chest? What the hell? What? That's actually nuts, man. I've never seen that before in, in my runs. Woohoo! 100 KC at Harmel Top. Took so long to get it, but we're here, baby. Triple digits. Holy shit. I just got another Sand Kit and an Elite Clue. Oh, I feel bad because some of my other teammates don't even have one yet, and I have two. I'm so sorry. Yo, dude, OG just got a freaking Sanguine Dust. That is the last item that I need. To complete top but of course i'm pretty lucky already so i'm not salty at all it's nice to see you know a homie get something that they don't have because these guys are pretty dry compared to me so hell yeah dude yo damn freaking hustle's been getting all the drops lately good for him though leg guards and i got a late clue so i've been doing a lot of trio hard mode tops and this time it's with two people that i've just been doing it for very consistently so yeah we are just super synchronized now and our times are going down and down and it's actually quite chill now so it's awesome in the event that you're the only person alive at harmo darby's usually there's two balls that goes to two people except you're gonna get two balls that goes to you and you have to take eat both of them Sniping the spiders in Harmo Theater is so fun just because if you hit it with the right style, you're guaranteed to hit your max, which is basically one shot most of the time. So yeah, I've just been practicing trying to kill multiple crabs at the same time back to back. And yeah, I've just gotten so good at it. I can kind of do trick shots. I do not recommend trying this in your own tobs. Honestly, this was stupidly risky. It was just nice to actually be able to pull off all the jukes. So I've gotten information from a really reliable source that the melee thralls on the pillar face of Verzik is better than the rest. Due to some pretty complicated um, way that the damage reduction works for certain styles, yeah, use melee thrall for P1. So when it comes to puzzle boxes, I'm kind of weird in the sense that I don't like to use the helper just because once you kind of memorize where things are in the puzzle box, you just know what to do. A lot of times it can be done in like 10 seconds just because most of it's already done for you. Yo, what the heck? Look at this mosquito's item movement. It is just bumping like he's jamming to something. <laughs> I don't know who made this animation, but that's actually hilarious. Yo, I think that is a new Elite Clue item. I like these a lot more nowadays because before I couldn't fit them in my bank, but now you can store in the house. So it's awesome to actually collect these. But yeah, Tuxedo Top. Really cool. I think it's one of the more rare items for sure. I only have like the gloves and the boots or something, but yeah, super nice. So I normally just AFK runecrafting right for blood runes when I edit videos or watch a show or something. So I'm AFKing all the time, most of you guys know this, and I spend a lot of my AFK time at runecrafting, but now I kind of want to switch it up a bit since I got the tablet Nightmare. I don't need to use blood runes as much anymore, so I can like 
chill out on the runecrafting. So instead, I want to mix it up with some Hellhound AFKs so I can build up some Master Clues. Hellhounds are really good AFK at Catacombs. And yeah, they just drop a lot of hard clues, 1 in 64 rate. So yeah, it's perfect for AFK and editing. It helps me pre-build Masters. I can basically get like three Masters ready, so Hellhounds are really nice for that. So I'm just getting some medium clues for my masters, right? And I realized that the jar generator and stuff, it used to like have some weird delay when you would take stuff out of it. But now there's like no delay, which is awesome. Makes it more smooth. So ever since you could stack clue scroll caskets in general, I think on an Iron Man stacking three masters is probably as good as it gets for masters. So I'm going to keep doing that. And unfortunately, this first three opening didn't get anything good. Yo, damn, Jagex keeps adding more random steps to Clue Scrolls. This one is one of the new ones, and I have to get a straw hat from the Type Farm. I heard it takes like two hours or something. I'll get it eventually. I'm just not in the mood right now. Ever since coming back, I've just been doing so many Clue Scrolls and Master Clues, right? And I need my music capes so I can get to follow quickly. However, my music capes been scuffed. Because there's just a bunch of new music tracks that got released and I have to get them all, right? So there was a few that I had to get. I thought it was only one. I thought I had to just do Below Ice Mountain, the free-to-play quest. But nope, I had to do a bunch more stuff. So I finished the quest and then I did like the post-quest activity where I had to mine a bunch of the new aura. So I can lock the new room. Did that. And I thought that was done. Nope. I had to go unlock another music track. Or two, actually. I had to go to the Wilderness Slayer Cave. I didn't even know there was one. So I went there, got that music track. And also the Fowler Party Room. Uh, downstairs, there's the museum that shows all the uh, updates, major updates of Old School Runescape. So that was cool too, so I got the music track for that. And now I can use the music game. So there's this cool room that you can access after the new free-to-play quest, right? And it looks like you can loot items or something from there. I couldn't tell what it was. But yeah, it seemed like it would be pretty decent for free to play. Let me know if it's actually decent money or worthwhile, I guess. So by this point in time, Combat Diaries are already out. I'm a little behind in terms of like catching up on content for YouTube videos. But don't worry, after this video, the next Iron Bar videos will feature a ton of Combat Diaries. A uh, long-term goal for Combat Diaries is, of course, to complete it all and get myself that nice Suck Slayer Helm uh, redesign. That would be super sick. And it would just be a really sick achievement i love pvm so it's nice to actually have some combat related diaries to go for so yeah look forward to a lot of that we have a lot to do some of these tasks i'll just give you a hint are actually extremely challenging that i actually have to try to learn how to be able to do some of these challenges you know so yeah those grandmasters man they they are not kidding <laughs> about the title of grandmaster for tasks for sure